Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my, okay, scratch. Um, so bad, okay. Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a current household. So, as you, you know, it's like, the greatest thing in the world right now I was living is out and um I just had to show you my current household for those of you who are new to my channel because I know I have a lot of new subscribers because I am doing a giveaway which ends June 28th if you want to know more about that be sure to check out my Twitter it's pinned to my page uh, but anyways hi my name is Carissa you can call me Kari but anyways um yeah I'm pregnant and that's like a great way to start off an introduction. I'm pregnant, but like I feel like you should know that because I would love to do a Let's Play. I know a lot of people miss my Let's Plays and get really aggravated at me that I can't be consistent with them just because my life has just been lately. But anyways, I'm pregnant and I'm eight months pregnant. So I have said multiple times, no Let's Plays on my channel until after the baby is born and I'm settled in and I can afford to be consistent so you guys won't hail me about it and you will understand and I just feel like let's plays take consistency right okay so anyways so this is not gonna be a let's play this is a current household <laughs> but I, I wasn't planning on doing this I was planning on just having you know uh, you know speed builds create a sims and stuff and then I created this sim and her backstory and her family and friends and I fell in love <laughs> and I've been watching so many other simmers let's plays and listen to all their sims backstories and i love to share my stories so i just want to introduce you to her and if you like her and you like her story and you want to see more of her it will not be a let's play like i said but we can do current household updates or whatever but anyways yeah that's my little introduction i know kind of awkward but <laughs> Anyways, um, I hope you stick around, even if you're here just because you subscribed so you can win Island Living. Good luck. Uh, but I hope you like my content and you stick around and join the family and, you know, hang with us. But anyways, without further ado, without, you know, rambling, uh, I'm just going to introduce you to my sim. And I'm not going to, like, you know, overview anything of Island Living because you've already seen it all, but... Anyways, obviously, here we are in Sulani, which is a beautiful, amazing, perfect world. And we're in this little starter house. And look, you guys are going to be so proud of me if, you know, Cora, hey, my girl, you're going to be proud. Because when I created The Sim, I said, I'm starting from the bottom. And I never, ever do that, you hear? Ever. <laughs> so I purchased this little starter home and um, I renovated it a little bit like I gave her new floors that's pretty much it and some new furniture and I haven't mother loaded or ka or anything I've been working my butt off for some money and it's kind of fun I'm digging it but I figured you guys would be proud of me so anyways this is our sim and okay disclaimer as most people are doing, I'm naming my Sims after, um, like, island names, like Polynesian, Hawaiian names, and I'm not a big word pronouncer. I'm not good at it. <laughs> so, I tried to pick easy names for my Sims, but some of them I'm still kind of like, eh, about, so uh, bear with me. <laughs> but anyways, this is my main Sim here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll pause it and let her kind of like, yeah, there she goes. Give us a smile, girl. Her name is Samaria Hale, and a little bit about Samaria. So, she is technically a native of Sulani, but her mother, and her mother's name is where she at she's actually a ghost yeah to to Wayla. no 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 uh oh no no her aunt's to Wayla, sorry talia talia i don't know how you say that <laughs> see here we go um talia we're gonna go talia because that kind of sounds islandy to me okay if i'm wrong whatever <laughs> but anyways okay so obviously she's a ghost she's dead okay so here is the scoop her mom is a native of Sulani, and 
when she got pregnant, she didn't stay with the dad. It was kind of just a, you know, it just didn't work out. And she decided, you know, um, I think probably Samaria was probably, I don't know, she was a child, maybe like six years old when her mom decided she wanted to get away from the islands. She lived here her whole life, and she just really wanted to move to the big city. She had big dreams of living in the city, and... So she packed up Sam, which, you know, Sam is short for Samaria, and that's where they went. They've been in Sam Ashuna this whole time. But unfortunately, her mom passed away. She got ill, and she just didn't beat it. And it was really, really, really hard on Sam. Her mom was absolutely her everything, her best friend. That They were so close. And it rocked her, her death. It really did. And here's a picture of them right here before she passed. Um, so she's always going to treasure that, but anyways, after her mom passed away, she was mourning really hard. She has no other family in the city, but she does have family here in Sulani, and I'm going to go ahead and take you to meet her family right now because they're important, and I kind of want to, you know, introduce you formally to them. All right, so here we are at the family's house. So her mother actually has a sister and her name is Tuela, and she stayed on the island after, you know, Talia left. She is, you know, obviously, you can see her trait there, a child of the islands. She loves Sulani and really hurt her that her sister wanted to leave, but she had to support her dreams. So, nonetheless, she decided to stay here, and she actually married her little high school sweetheart, and and Nelly and Nolly, I mm, I don't know how to say his name. It looked easy, but I anyways, that's Uncle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry y'all, but your names I don't even try anymore. I just we don't try here. Okay, and then this is her teenage cousin uh, Amir, uh, Emery. Yeah, we're gonna go Emery. Y'all, this is terrible. Like I'm, I probably should have prepared myself for their names and how I should. I was gonna say them, but like this is this is me and all of my glory. Uh, take it or leave it. <laughs> so um, Emery, we're gonna call her Emery. Yeah, Emery. That's pretty. So anyway, this is her cousin Emery. She is a teenager, but they live here on the island. And of course, when Sam decided she was gonna move back, she called her aunt up and her aunt was like, oh my gosh, yes, please come back. I cannot wait to show you around because Sam hasn't been back to Solani. It's her first time back in Solani since, oh my goodness, what, since she moved. I don't think she ever came back. She never really had the desire to, her nor her mom. Um, now, her sister, her mom's sister, her aunt, did come and visit her in the city, but they never came back here. So it's definitely a culture shock for Sam. Uh, she's been here for about a week, and so far she's fallen in love with this place and cannot imagine why her mom would even want to leave, you know? And where in the world, <laughs> here they are, they out here building sand castles. That's cute. Well, let me like formally introduce you to her aunt and uncle. Let me get down on her level. She's so beautiful. Uh, but this is Tuela. And this is her aunt. She's very, very close to her aunt. Obviously, it's like a mother figure to her. Now that her mom's gone, she comes over all the time. She gives her advice. She shows her around the island. And she's just very thankful that she has family even after all this time, that still loves her and cares about her. And then this is her husband, um, whose name I cannot pronounce. An Anoli, An Anoli. If you know, like, tell me how to pronounce it. Uh, like, spell it out for me in the comments so I can learn. Thank you. But anyway, this is her uncle, and he is a conservationist. And she's actually in the culinary track. But as far as Sam goes, when Sam moved here, she didn't want to hop into like a full-time job because she has the beach life aspiration. And she really just wanted to explore the islands and just live it up and just relax. It's what her mom would want. And she owes it to herself, you know. So she decided not to, you know, hop in in a full-time job. But she got a part-time job. And her first part-time job was a wave catcher. So she's a lifeguard. Okay, well, she's a level two. So she's a lifeguard. <laughs> and she's already got a promotion. So she's level two now. 
and we took some odd jobs here on the island because after I renovated the house, I was pretty much broke. And I'm refusing to cheat this time. You know, we're going to do it the real way here. It's going to be like a little legacy current household for me. So I want to do it right. So anyways, um, yeah, I decided that <laughs> one part-time job wasn't enough. Those odd jobs just are helpful and really cool. I appreciate that, but it's not enough for the life I want to live like I want to jet ski and stuff <laughs> so I got another part-time job so we can pick shifts so during the morning times she works as a lifeguard she has a few hours and then she goes to work as a sales floor clerk in the retail now once we possibly you know get married or maybe we decide to go full-time she may quit one of these jobs but right now it, she's working really hard <laughs> but she does have some days off like today she's off on both and she can take vacation days anytime she wants if she has something going on and pick up an odd job for extra money but we're really just trying to who uh, make a living the best way that we know how but anyways this is their house and I just I moved out a family that was living here sorry EA but I evicted them and I'm gonna do a little fixer upper on this house a renovation so stay tuned for that because I'm not a fan of it but anyways she loves her cousin Emery she's hugging her by I guess she's got somewhere to go but anyways I just really wanted to introduce you to the family properly uh, because they are very important to Sam. But anyways, who else can I talk about? Who else can I introduce you to? Um, let's see. Okay. We have two. Okay. Well, she's not in like a romantic relationship. Okay. You know, but um, look, we're going to. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to his house. I don't know if he's home, but if he is. He's not. Where is he at? I adore him. Journey's End in Sulani. Where's Journey's End? Is that like a lot somewhere? I don't know where Journey's End. Like what? <laughs> um, okay. Anyways, whatever. We'll go to the beach because everybody ends up at the beach no matter what. Also, my island is infested with freaking aliens it should be mermaids but it's aliens uh it's really aggravating it started with an alien night at the bar and now they're they're everywhere little blue creatures everywhere and they're pissing me off <laughs> i don't know if that's a glitch or what but what what is what is this what the hell is this Okay, see, she's a freak. Like, what is wrong with you? I just want to delete you. Um, apparently, whatever she's got on is <laughs> a broken link. Oh, my God, that is creepy. You can delete people, right? Oh, my gosh, this is terrible of me. I'm deleting this sim. I just can't. Okay, she's gone. She was an alien. She was blue. She's one less problem I got to deal with. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, it looks like we're looking for some seashells, which is fine because sometimes I can like make some good money off of that. But I love how I'm trying to introduce you to my friends that I always see at the beach and it looks like the place is pretty much freaking deserted right now. Oh, who do, who do we have here? Um, nobody important. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to, we're just going to call him over. Yep, because I want to tell you about him. I've fallen in love with him, too. <laughs> okay, I love to story tell. And, okay, look, hold up. Hey, butler, um, you need to go on with your little jingle bell, okay? I have food out on the table, and he's, like, about to start begging. Uh, anyways, stop, you're distracting me. I'm trying to do something. Goodness, if you hear jingles, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what to do. Anyways, I like the story tell always have been a big storyteller in my let's plays and i've always said guys in my current households i go all out too i create the backstory i create the sims and their lives their backstory and it's like drama like i that's just how i play okay so of course i had to have some possible suitors for her you know i'm not gonna force anything we're just gonna let fate take its turn but you know really i kind of have like my preferences <laughs> you know low-key but anyways 
Ooh, she's feeling flirty. I mean, we're not on that level, so let's probably not come over here and uh, kiss his hands or anything. But anyways, this is Tane Sapani. Sapani? Sapani? I don't think it's Sapani. <laughs> Sounds like some panties. Okay, weird. Anyway, Sapani. Uh, this is Tane, and he is so cute, right? Is he not adorable? I love him. Okay, a little bit about Tane. Uh, when she moved back here, she was hanging out with her aunt, you know, and um, her aunt was like, oh, I ran into the Sapani boys, and they are so excited you're back. And Sam was like, the who? <laughs> who? And she's like, oh, you probably don't remember, but you was really good friends with Tane growing up. Y'all were attached at the hip. Y'all went to school together. You know, your mom and... His mom were really good friends, you don't remember. And she had like a faint memory of him, but she couldn't like for real remember. Like she, she, don't, she just kind of blocked out everything from the island. She was so young. Uh, so anyways, she ended up running into him and they went to the bar. They've caught up and nothing has changed between these two. I mean, they just have a really good vibe, a really good chemistry. He has a younger brother named Tua and he's a teenager. Um, we don't really know him all that well, obviously. He was really, really small, <laughs> like probably an infant, like a baby, when we moved away at the time. But anyways, we have just been, you know, catching up with him in our spare time and everything, asking about his day. He's a fisherman, and unfortunately, something that they share or have in common, which I say unfortunately because it's not really something good to have in common, but uh, they don't have a mom anymore like they have a mom but his parents passed away too uh so it's just him and his brother and he's a fisherman and he loves the islands he's a child of the ocean he doesn't see himself ever leaving this place uh but you know he's met sam and she's told him all about this city and about all these places she's been and he really would like to go visit you know he's kind of interested but he deep down knows he he ain't going nowhere, you know, this is his home, but anyways, ever since Sam, oh, girl, girl, she looking good, but anyways, ever since Sam came back, he's just kind of been low-key smitten, he's always kind of had a crush on her, uh, but Sam, she is really just not for real interested in, like, hanging out or getting to know, okay, well, like, hanging out wrong way to word it because obviously she's she has hung out with Tane uh but she's not interested in a girl you just that is dangerous I could have drowned but anyways uh she's not interested in necessarily being in a relationship because when she left the city she left a relationship that she was in she broke up with her long-term boyfriend and she decided she was going to come here for a fresh start. She wasn't going to, you know, rush into anything. You know, as far as she's concerned, Tane, handsome. Very handsome. Gorgeous, okay? Great friend. Vibes with him. And, like, she kind of in her heart is like, possibly, you know, something's there. Maybe there's a reason why I came back, you know, multiple reasons. And maybe it's for love. Maybe... Um, I'm, I'm here for Tane. I, I don't know. But there's also another native to the island that she met the first night or the first week she was here. It wasn't the first night. But anyways, his name is Hani. And he is a conservationist. He lives kind of like off the grid over there by the, you know, volcano. But anyways, he's a loner, loves outdoors, child of the islands. He's super handsome. But oh my gosh. Okay, they met at the beach, and then when she went out to get drinks with Tane one night, Honey was there, and he was buying her drinks and just, like, talking to her, and they had a kava, is it, isn't it a kava party? Okay, it's a new party that we can have. Let me make sure, I hope I'm saying that right. Where, okay, hold up, hold up, we're just going to pretend. We're going to pretend we're having this party so I can make sure I am pronouncing it right. Kava party? Yeah. Okay. So we had a kava party because it was part of our little, oh, we didn't earn a gold. Oh, I, dang it. I didn't make it a gold event. So we're going to have to have another one. But anyways, we threw a kava party at our aunt and uncle's house. 
and you know we kind of hosted and he showed up and you know they hit it off they talked I mean by no means are they like super close but she really digs his vibe he's a really chill sim um, and he invited her to you know come hang out with him one day they went snorkeling they you know sailed a little bit and then he took her to the waterfall and they played in it and got to know each other and he's definitely made it very clear he is interested in pursuing sam uh but you know her guards up like i said she doesn't want to like push him away hurt his feelings because you know there is potential here look at all these damn aliens these blue sims so annoying oh there's uncle we're just gonna call him uncle that's kind of weird but you know don't know how to say his name <laughs> um who's this oh it's tame duh <laughs> Anyways, all right, we're sunbathing. We're probably going to get us a nice little tan here. But anyways, I think I've pretty much wrapped it up, you know, as far as Sam's backstory and her goals in life and what she's here in Sulani to pursue. Um, okay, Tane just left. <laughs> we kind of like ditched him. We're over here. Oh, girl, you was burnt. Girl, you was burnt. You look like me when I took my pregnant self to the beach when I hadn't been in the water, in, in the sun, all summer long. And I'm naturally kind of dark complected, right? So, anyways, I went to the beach and I had this little, um, I didn't want to wear like a bikini with my big old belly because I'm just not comfortable. Like, I just don't feel cute. <laughs> so, it was kind of like a little, it was a two-piece, but it was, the bottom was high-waisted. And then the top kind of flowed out where you could cover the belly or you can have the belly, you know, get some sun. So I was kind of like tanning my belly a little bit. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to like not use sunscreen. I'm just going to get dark, you know. Once I start burning, then I'll put the suntan lotion on. Girl, I look like I had a red freaking beach ball on my belly. My poor baby. I like, I fried him. <laughs> but anyways, it's all good. But sorry, what? Um, she got a sunburn and it just pulled me off on a little tangent there. But anyways, we decided to come back home and let's go ahead and use the restroom. Okay, so she was burning, but she ended up getting a sweet tan. Uh, Emery's calling us. She says, I need the kind of greasy sticky. Bad for you food you can only find at the Humor Hijinks Festival Want to come and get a bite with me. Okay, we're going to say no because look, I know I take this game way too seriously and it's never been a problem with other worlds, but I feel like living in Sulani means I can't go to any other world. Just like casually, just go, just go to the flea market all the way in San Mashuno. <laughs> like realistically, that would be a long trip, you know, just to go to the flea market. Uh, so I don't, I don't know, but I do want to kind of like renovate some of these lots. I'm so sick of these green and blue aliens. I mean, I've yet to see a mermaid, but all I see is aliens. They're everywhere. It's a glitch. It needs to go. It needs to stop. Somebody else tell me you're having this problem and it's not just me. But anyways, um, what was I saying? I'm so distracted right now. This is what happens when we do, we do current households. I'm not really, you know, doing a lot of storytelling. I'm just kind of introducing you to The Sims because I get off on little tangents and I don't want to shut up. I don't know how, don't know when, don't know where, but <laughs> anyways, this is her house. I'm pretty proud of it um, because like I said, I didn't cheat none of this ish. I bought this with my hard earned money and it's a little plain for my taste. We're saving up for a TV, we're saving up for some plants and decorations, but I did work my butt off to get a laptop because we was really struggling in the fun area, but anyways, yeah, I think it'll be okay, you know. Our bills, our bills came in too, right before I started recording. Our bills came in, and they're only $416, right? Where's that at? Where can I pay bills? Yeah, $415, not bad, so like, I can definitely afford that. But, you know, she does want to have a family one day. Uh, look at her little tan line. I love it. Who is this? We have a visitor. Who is this? Jackie Jensen. Hmm. I'm going to introduce myself. Oh, oh, I thought she was just walking in my house. I was about to say, okay, like this a little bit. <laughs> Like, I know the windows are open, and that might seem like an invitation to come on in. Uh, I don't know this woman. Never seen her around, but she's she's cute. 
do you live around here? Like, you don't look like a native. And that's not because you're ginger. Nothing against it. <laughs> uh, but, like, for real, where, where are you from? What are you, like, why are you, like, knocking on my door? <laughs> um, anyways, everybody here is really friendly, though. Have you guys noticed that in y'all's gameplay? Like, they brought me food, and they always call me and want to hang out. They come over and visit, and she's met a lot of the people here. And like I said, I want to give some makeovers to some of them and renovate some of the homes here, and I will kind of like record that as well. Okay, um, Jackie. Oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. You got to go. Just, just go away. I cannot stand it. Pet peeve. When Sims come over, like... It's one thing if it was, like, Emery or Tane, someone I'm friends with. But when you just, like, knocked on my door, I don't even know you, and you're going to come over here and get on my computer? I don't think so. She's, oh, she's looking at the picture of her and her mom, and she's just thinking, I hope I'm making you proud, you know? And I think she would be really proud. But anyways, we're telling Jackie, girl, you got to go. <laughs> it's been fun. Nice to meet you, but... You have overstayed your welcome, so it was nice, nice while it lasted, but anyways, <sighs> I don't even know where to go from here because tomorrow, oh my gosh, she, she is burnt. She got a suntan, but like she is looking a little burnt, but tomorrow is Tuesday, so oh, we're off in the morning, but we go to work at 6 p.m. See, it kind of works. She's not like super busy. But we are, like I said, trying to make some money. I mean, I don't know why these people are snorkeling. But anyways, you guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Because obviously this was just a current household introducing you to my Sim family here that I'm playing with. And just kind of hoping you guys, you know, like her and want to see more of her. And if that's the case, then... Please let me know. I promise I will do more current households because that's not something I have to be consistent with. And that's something I can get down with. <laughs> so if you guys want to see more about her and where her life goes, who she ends up with. Are you team um, Tane? Are you team Hani? That's their names, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's still fairly new. I'm still learning names. But what do you think? Do you think that this relationship in her life that was so meaningful to her at one point, maybe fate brought them back together, uh, they have a lot in common, or do you think that Hani is just a fate, you know, just this local, he's a chill guy, and he, she needs chill in her life, and I can definitely see her kind of honestly, let's be honest real quick before we end this, let's, let's get real, okay, I can definitely... Definitely see her kind of getting more romantic with Hani at first. Just because she doesn't want to ruin what her and Tane have in a friendship. But I think that her and Tane have feelings for each other deep down. And it's just, it's kind of complicated when you're really good friends with somebody, you know. So, let me know what you think. <laughs> and, like I said, if you want to see more, be sure to let me know and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for lots of renovations and speed builds this week in Sulani for the new pack. But also, don't worry, I'm not going to like spam you because I know we've had a lot of spamming lately with the EA Game Changers, which has been great. But I am going to throw in, you know, my Sims 3 to Sims 4 recreation series and different creative Sims so it's not, you know so much of island living but anyways thank you guys for watching i love y'all so much and i'll talk to you guys later bye